I'm not gonna lie, I am a massive Ferrari fan. And this here is, well, it's the ultimate Ferrari, isn't it? It's the FXXK, and we couldn't have one in the studio without giving you a tour of all those incredible details that make this, for me, just the most mind-blowing car on the planet. I'll give you the headlines again because, well, they're worth giving. This is the hardcore track-only version of the LaFerrari hypercar. Um, it's got more power, 100 more horsepower for about 1,036 in total. 850 of that comes from the 6.3 litre V12 and the rest, about 180, 190 horsepower, well, that comes from the electric motor. Nought to 60, well under three seconds. Top speed, who knows? But to be honest, I don't want to dwell on the numbers because this thing is all about downforce. It's all about drama and I want to get a close up look of these details that you just don't get to see that often. We'll start down here with the spoiler. Incredible double level front lip spoiler. That cleans up the air underneath the car to make it more aerodynamically efficient. Coming down here, these enormous side pods that give it its sculpted look and these huge intakes here which feed all that air into this gorgeous 6.3 litre V12, revs to over 9,000 RPM and it is in itself a piece of sculpture. You can see it there through the glass. At the rear, this is where the magic really happens, the aerodynamic magic, because just look at that rear diffuser, it's absolutely bonkers. You've also got these two winglets in low drag mode, where they help smooth out the air. In high drag mode, when this spoiler pops up here, well, they add even more downforce. There's 50% more downforce in low drag mode than the LaFerrari, and another 30% when this spoiler is up at its maximum height. Just incredible stuff. The only problem is you have to be able to drive like Chris Harris to actually feel what all that downforce is about. The thing about this car is it's not just about lap times. It's not just about aerodynamics. It's not about raw numbers. It's a piece of sculpture in its own right. They didn't have to make a racing car so beautiful, but they have. And it's good business too. This thing costs two and a half million euros, about two million quid to you or I and you probably don't even keep it in your own garage. Ferrari look after it for you. They ship it to track days around the world and you just turn up to enjoy your two million pound toy. It's a rolling laboratory as well. So anything they learn from this car, from you driving around, from spending your money on it, they'll put into future Ferraris, which let's face it, you're probably gonna buy as well. Honestly, I'm in awe of this thing. I'm so jealous of Chris that got to drive it. One day, eh?